Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and um, don't forget to ask questions if you want to ask questions. We are looking at miracles today and whether they attest to the divinity of Christ. And uh, before I begin, we're going to open in a word of prayer. Lord, we just come before you today. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness and cleansing, and I just pray by the power of your Holy Spirit you would help me to do this little study, Lord, in your name and for your glory. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're going to look at uh, miracles and whether they attest to the Lord Jesus Christ as being the Son of God. If you'd like to turn to Matthew chapter 11, verse 4 and 5, it says, Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Our Lord Jesus Christ used miracles to attest that he is the Son of God. And if you turn to John chapter 10, 25, it says, Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe the works that I do in my Father's name. They bear witness of me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep, as I said to you. My sheep hear my voice and know them. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. And then verse 30. I and my Father are one. And verse 37. If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. So, you know, miracles were quite clearly central to showing that Jesus was the Son of God. Those who know Sam Harris and have heard Sam Harris, he will often say that, Christians don't use miracles to defend the Christian faith. Well, you have someone today who contradicts what Sam Harris is saying. It says in Acts chapter 2 verse 22, Men of Israel, hear these, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you by miracles, wonders, signs which God did through him in your midst as you yourselves also know. So, <clears throat> the miracles of Christ were important to attest his his divinity now it's got to be said um, that even though there were these miracles even in the Lord's time there were some people who would not believe his miracles Mark chapter 6 verse 6 Mark uh, chapter 6 verse 6 he says, and he marveled because of their unbelief, and then he went about the villages in a circuit teaching. So there were people who saw the Lord do miracles, but still didn't believe. So how do we know that the miracles of Jesus were true miracles, and really did a test of the life of Jesus? Well, there's about five or six or seven parameters that show that they are really true. First of all, number one, the Lord's miracles were done in front of multitudes of people. Uh, if you turn to John chapter 2, um, John chapter 2, verse 1 to 11, it says, On the third day there was a, a wedding in Cain of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding and when they ran out of wine the mother of Jesus said to him they have no wine and Jesus said to her woman what does your concern have to do with me my hour has not yet come his mother said to the servants whatsoever he says to you do it now there were set the six water pots of stone according to the manner of purification of the Jews concerning twenty or thirty gallons apiece Jesus said to them fill the water pots with water and they filled them up with the brim and he said to them, Draw some out now, and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it, and when the master of the feast 
had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from but the servants who had drawn the water knew the master of the feast called the bridegroom and he said to him every man at the beginning sets out the good wine when he suggests when the guests have well drunk then the inferior you have kept the good wine until now this is the beginning of signs Jesus did in Canaan of Galilee and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him and after this he went down to Capernaum he and his mother his brothers and his disciples and they did not stay there many days so there you know the Lord turned water into wine and it was in uh, a, a wedding gathering but uh, you can look at uh, the Lord in Mark chapter 3 verse 1 to 6 Luke chapter 5 verse 17 are examples where the Lord did miracles amongst multitudes uh, he did the five lords and fishes and fed multitudes in front of everybody in a miraculous way excuse me excuse me in Matthew chapter 14 verse 15 to 21 so the multitudes were there okay uh, in many of the miracles the Lord did secondly the enemies of the Lord attested to him doing miracles now you're not going to get enemies attesting to his doing miracles unless he did actually do miracles uh, John chapter 11 verse 47 then the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered the council and said what shall we do for this man works many signs so even the enemies knew what Jesus was doing uh, making miracles uh, thirdly the Lord's miracles were varied, um, were, were, were a variety, there was so, such a variety of these miracles, all different types from healing lepers uh, to having power over nature, that it, I think it's unusual to see this in history uh, and it was quite uh, remarkable to see that. And, and cannot be fabricated if someone's doing so many different types of miracles, uh, healing the blind, healing lepers, uh, walking on water, uh, there's such a variety there. The next point is multiple attestations from uh, eyewitnesses and, and uh, um, literary sources. There are the four Gospels, there are the Apostles, uh, and the, there are a number of uh, sources outside the Bible that attest and it's such a multiple attestation to the miracles that Jesus did which is quite remarkable uh, you have uh, some of the early church fathers who attested to these miracles and even secular writers uh, and then next uh, the Bible writers reported to have written uh, eyewitness accounts if you turn to uh, 1 John uh, and, and to in a, in a soberly way as well uh, we'll, we'll come back to that in a minute uh, 1 John 1 John chapter 1 sorry uh, 1 John chapter 1 verse 1 that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands have handled concerning the word of life the life was manifested and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you that the eternal life which was with the father and was manifested to us so what eyewitness accounts uh, saw my attest attestation to these miracles also um, these accounts were written in a sober sober way even the uh, critics like uh, Bultman said that he was, he, was, he was taken aback with the sobriety of the accounts there was nothing fanciful or magical in these uh, accounts of the miracles of Jesus it, it was written in a very sober historical way and an example of that is uh, John uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 1 to 4 and we'll finish from here Inasmuch as many have taken in hand to set in order a narrative of those things which have been fulfilled among us, just as those from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to, to us, it seemed good to me also, 
having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write to you an orderly account most excellent Theophilus that you may know the certainty of those things in which you were instructed so we'll just recap uh, miracles for the Lord Jesus was important to attest his divinity and who he was we have a, a number of lines of evidence for this number one the multitudes were there it wasn't hidden in a corner uh, but uh, and different types of multitudes of people in different public places secondly his enemies attested to these miracles thirdly he did so many variety of miracles that it's difficult to see how he could have been a charlatan um, he, he just had such a variety of what he was doing um, four multiple attestations of of um, these uh, miracles from the Gospels from the Apostles and from secular sources uh, such as Roman historians etc <coughs> and then also uh, eyewitness accounts and sober history N nothing was written uh, silly or overemphasized it was all written with dignity the miracles were done with dignity and sobriety completely different to what you would expect in those times like magical charlatan type, pe type people this was a, a, a miracles in a different category and there's some evidence for the miracles of Christ what do you think and let me know and uh, it's good to hear you and take care God bless